Well, one of the things that our office did right uh, right as we started was to do a lot of research um, with historians outside of government uh, who could talk to us about the timeline of American presidents, diplomacy, Islam. Where where along the trajectory are we seeing presidents talk about the importance of Islam in America, and how does that fit in? And it's important to understand the American narrative as a whole, to understand the different immigrant groups that have come in, the different religious groups that have come in, and how it made our nation powerful, how, how, why it is and how it is Americans celebrate diversity, why it is, pluralism is important to us, why freedom of expression is important to us, why is it that in America in 2012 synagogues and mosques and churches are side by side and why it is in America that we honor and respect the right of our citizens to dress as they wish in any way that they wish so that a Jew can wear a yarmulke or a Sikh can wear a turban or a Muslim could wear a headscarf or anybody can dress in any way that they want. You go back to the founding fathers. You go back to the founding documents of our country. And over the course of this work that we've done on developing this timeline, uh, we've seen that our founding fathers, from George Washington up until our, our current president, have inserted the importance of many religions in America, who have talked specifically about the role of Islam in America, who have understood that Islam came to America with the slaves and has been part part of our country since the very beginning, which is why you can look at the experiment that is America with every nation on earth represented in this country and see the diversity of Islam in America. There are mosques in every single state. There are people from every part of the world who are Muslim in America. Um, we see American communities living side by side with others. They aren't in special places. They are all living side by side. So this whole um, experience has made America very rich and we respect the fact that Muslims and Jews and Christians and Hindus and Buddhists and everyone else uh, has equal rights under the law uh, in the United States. And we see it through the way our American citizens uh, live out their lives. Uh, when you look Look at the fact that Ramadan is coming out in a, in coming in a, in a, a few weeks uh, in America, and you see how our country has uh, embedded this as part and parcel of uh, you know its its year, the way Christmas or Easter or uh, Diwali is part of the year. Uh, it is it's important to see that it's respected. It's important to see that every year our American president has an iftar uh, at the White House, that the Secretary of State has a celebration at the Department of State, and many other cabinet officials do as well. Uh, you see uh, churches and synagogues side by side uh, coming to iftar dinners uh, at mosques. You see them opening doors and exchanging um, you know, communities. These kinds of things are, are happening in America because it's part and parcel of who we are.